House Republicans say White House climate czar John Kerry wants to crush American farmers with climate regulations, that is, if he had his way. And now they're calling on President Biden and the Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack to condemn Kerry's remark. Kerry recently said, quote, we can't get to net zero unless agriculture is front and center as part of the solution. Kerry also claimed that farming agriculture accounts for 33 percent of global greenhouse emissions, but the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change says agriculture generates only about 10 to 12 percent of greenhouse gas emissions. So which one is it? Congressman Mark Alford, one of the Republicans calling Kerry out, tweeted, quote, our ag industry has made massive strides in reducing global emissions and producing more with less. They should be applauded not shamed. And he joins us now, Congressman Mark Alford. He's on the House Agriculture Committee and also the House Armed Services Committee. Great to have you with us. Thank you, John Bianca. Well, Congressman, it sounds like John Kerry wants to turn the United States into the Netherlands or Canada, where the governments of those countries do everything they can to make sure farmers and ranchers can't produce enough food to feed their populations. Well, I, I do believe that that's the direction they are headed. We are not going to let them do that. I don't know where they're getting their numbers. Uh, maybe they're cow, uh, counting the cow flatulence as part of the uh, carbon emissions coming from farms. But regardless, this administration needs to stay off the backs of their farmers through the waters of the U.S. Act, where they are, uh, they are counting uh, undulations in a, in a farmer's field, uh, ruts, from the combine that have filled up with water and counting that as a navigable waterway to the EPA, uh, using not all the data that they have to regulate pesticides that are desperately needed for our corn and soybean farmers in Missouri. And, and this latest statement by the climate cult czar, John Kerry, trying to put the blame of climate change uh, on American farmers. We're not gonna have it. We sent this letter to the president and to the secretary to, to try to rein in John Kerry. Can we impeach John Kerry? I mean, why do we need a climate czar in the first place? Is that, is that a possibility? I mean, this guy flies around all over the place on our dime, flying private jets, uh, going to these climate conferences. What purpose does this serve? How does this benefit us as a nation? I think it benefits John Kerry's ego. He wanted to be president, never made it. Joe Biden didn't make it. He's a marionette president. Someone else is pulling the strings. And as a concession, John Kerry gets to fly around on his private jet to anywhere he wants to go, condemning uh, farmers uh, for climate change and blaming them and putting the, the, uh, putting the bid on the backs of the American people to try to make some changes that aren't really necessary. Hardworking American farmers, you know, and he just seems so out of touch. And as we say all the time, tone deaf here. Um, Congressman, I wanted to also get your reaction to what we heard from National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan. He was asked about the Pentagon revealing it had made a $3 billion accounting error over Ukraine aid over the value of the weapons sent. Here's his response. That is not money that went out the, dis the door and disappeared. That is not a waste of that $3 billion. It is simply a tally of how much military equipment we have given them. So sort of backpedaling there on CNN, a tally, but so many GOP lawmakers, you know, want more oversight on the Ukraine aid. The Biden administration has given $77 billion in total, $47 billion for military aid, according to the Council on Foreign Relations. And he talks about $3 billion and accounting error like most Americans know if, if I have three dollars dinged for a, a late overdraft charge, I'm noticing that. <laughs> That's a great point, Bianca. Three billion in my world in the fourth congressional district of Missouri is a lot of money. We have to do a better job of making sure that I think it's a hundred billion in total that's been appropriated to the war in Ukraine, uh, that it actually gets to where it's going. Uh, as you said, about three quarters of that has been uh, sent out so far, but a three billion dollar error. I tell you what, that is a big deal, and we need to make sure we get to the bottom of it. Yeah, and, and just for the record, that's a lot of money where I come from, too, $3 billion. <laughs> a lot not a, not at the Pentagon, no big deal. It's, it's My QuickBooks would notice that, It's an too. accounting error. Just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Congressman, great to see you. Thank you so much, Good sir. Good seeing you. God bless you.